celebrating 125 years of Mountaineer football. It was billed as the biggest game ever in Morgantown. The festivities and color surrounding the event will be remembered by Mountaineer faithful for a lifetime. The date was November 20th, and more than 70,000 fans packed Mountaineer Field to see two of college football's elite, the fourth-ranked Miami Hurricanes and the ninth-ranked Mountaineers. The national media spotlight was on Morgantown this day. The ABC television cameras, along with hundreds of reporters from across the nation, were on hand to see if West Virginia's national championship dream was for real. They were there to see if the Mountaineers could hand Miami its very first loss in the Big East. The league's top two teams battled back and forth in the first 30 minutes with West Virginia holding a slim 3-0 halftime lead. Second half action was one of the most exciting in Mountaineer field history. The Canes went on top 7-3, only to see WVU battle back for a 10-7 advantage. When Miami moved ahead 14 to 10 midway through the fourth quarter, the Mountaineers could have quit. However, they chose to keep their undefeated dream alive and shock the nation. Here's how they did it. Kelsner and the Mountaineers with a first and 10. The ball is at the Miami 19 yard line now. Mountaineers down by four. Here's Walker, Walker left side, Walker, 10 Walker, score, Mountaineers lead. Final score read West Virginia 17, Miami 14. WVU had beaten one of college football's most feared teams. It was a great day, and Mountaineer fans went into a frenzy as their team made a strong claim for the national title. Celebrating 125 years of Mountaineer football.